guess what I got from Tokyo, Japan. Well, let's open the box. Pretty excited about this package. Yep, it's a kit from QRP Labs. It's the uh, QCX single band CW transceiver. So it's a Morse code only radio. And it has a ton of features and only costs $49. Components, circuit board, Let's put it together. made some good progress so far. You have to be careful about the uh, two crystals. They're not the same value. This one is 27 megahertz. This one is 20 megahertz. So when I inverted them, I put them in the wrong position. I didn't use the uh, protection diode. I just put a strap instead because uh, the connectors I use pretty much guarantee that I'm not going to uh, invert polarity. Only problem I found is that uh, C17 is missing, so I'm missing a capacitor. And I hope I can find one somewhere because otherwise I won't be able to finish the kit. Now I'm going to uh, solder, uh, place and solder the uh, resistors. The T1 transformer was pretty hard to wind, uh, 68 turns for 80 meters, and it looks pretty ugly, but uh, I guess you have no choice. And here you see it on the board, I hope I wired it correctly, and uh, you can see here it doesn't look pretty, but uh, what can you do? And now I'm soldering the uh, LCD screen, and that will be the last step before uh, turning it on, actually. Check this out, it's working. 
Well, at least the uh, microprocessor is. Uh, the rest of it, I'm not quite sure yet. I have 80 meters, so I'm going to press the select button. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one long press of the left button. I'm now on preset and I'm going to uh, turn the encoder until I get to alignment. Select. Now I turn the button until I see peak BPF. Please select. There we go. Select. You can hear the tone. Uh, so I need to adjust C1 here. Fortunately, I have a ceramic knife with a broken tip. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to adjust C1 for maximum deflection. You can hear the tone. I plugged in some earphones. The scale is auto-adjusting. Up, oh, there we go, it goes back down. Whoop, so maximum is right here. Now we'll turn the encoder, like the manual says, to uh, IQ balance. Now it's R27 right here for minimum value. Maybe I can use a regular screwdriver, my broken knife doesn't work here, but this is not a capacitor, so... Minimum value, there we go. It's a multi-turn potentiometer, so it might take quite a few turns. Whoop. It just went back up. Oh, that was the auto range, maybe. So I'll keep turning it the same, the same direction. 10, 9... Here you can see eight. Ah, oh, there it goes back up. So, and this is just about the minimum. Okay, we go to a phase audio shift on low, and uh, I'm going to uh, set up R24 for again minimum value. So I'm going to aim for the lowest number here and the lowest deflection and the lowest number I get is 4 so inside 4 I will go as low as I possibly can I guess that's the minimum I'm going to get it's kind of approximate but oh well now I have to do the uh, bandpass filter again because um, those adjustments uh, influence each other so I need to make sure that uh, I might have to do it 2 or 3 times phase high, uh, did I miss that? Yes, phase high, and that's uh, the last potentiometer here. R17, uh, again for minimum, and I'm on 9, number 9, here. 7, 6, 4, and it's about, yeah, it's around, ah, I have a 3 here. Okay, this is just about the minimum. So I went through the uh, 4 items uh, of the alignment, uh, maybe 4 or 5 times. And I think I got it right. Uh, now I just have to plug in an antenna and see if I hear some Morse code. Well, at least I can check to see if the key works. Yep, key or mode. Iambic A, B. I'm not even sure what I'm using. Let's try A. Of course, I should be reading the manual. Well, the uh, side tone uh, sounds awful. <laughs> But uh, that might be the side tone volume. So I guess I don't want iambic A. I think it, it is. I think it's B. Clear. Iambic B. It's working. <laughs> I'm using the uh, Chameleon Antenna Hybrid Micro with the whip, <laughs> so I'm using a 3.2 meters whip on 80 meter, which is insane. But I hear stuff, the decoder sure uh, works fine. I finally got the uh, C17 from QRP Labs, this capacitor was missing. 
now I just have to solder it uh, on the board but uh, it was kind of difficult to do it in the front of the board so I decided to solder it in the back which is just the same thing it's going to work fine I also went to the uh, QRP Labs website they have forums there to help builders and uh, found information about a case that is just the right size I got it from eBay and uh, it fits perfectly just like so of course I will have to drill a hole, square hole for the screen right here that's going to be hard I also bought a uh, from eBay an AVR programmer this little guy here which uh, is used to upgrade the firmware unfortunately I couldn't do it because there wasn't any information on uh, exactly how to do it you can also do it with an Arduino uh, this plugs in uh, into your computer using USB and on the radio, just like so. Aircraft. K3, nice. 100 watts. Inverted L antenna. The weather. Hmm. It's about the same as here, anyways, in England. Seven degrees, yeah, Celsius. It's hard. <laughs> oh, the phone is ringing. I'll take it later. All okay. Well, I messed up pretty bad. I think there's an issue with the key. Uh, maybe the uh, new firmware will fix that. Yeah, 4 watts. I'm assuming 4 watts.
here are the results I got from the reverse beacon network. So you can see I'm heard uh, pretty much all around Europe. So it works really well. Unfortunately, I don't have a QRP watt meter anymore, so I don't know exactly how many watts I'm outputting. Although my uh, Elecraft T1 tuner says between 1 and 5 watts, but of course uh, that's a wide range. I wish upgrading the firmware was uh, explained properly on the website because uh, I really tried and <laughs> I wasn't able to do it. So uh, please hands, uh, give us uh, more explanations and uh, maybe uh, the command, uh, the exact command to use with uh, the uh, AVR dude program that's used to flash the uh, memory. I might just get another one <laughs> of those radios because they are really amazing except for the current draw, but uh, it's not so bad and uh, really it has a lot of features and I'm not going to explain them or there are other videos that do that and you can of course uh, download the manual from uh, QRP Labs. You will see this radio again of course and uh, hopefully operating in the field uh, I have to put it in that case uh, before of course and uh, I'm not going to bother you with that because I have other boxing projects coming up so uh, but uh, you'll see uh, next time uh, this kit will be uh, in the box and uh, operating outside hopefully <laughs> have a good one